Hello YouTube! Today I'll be demoing my latest creation, Block Widow, which I designed to be compact, nimble, and able to climb walls like a spider. It's small and agile enough to crawl sideways along narrow ledges, and it controls well even when driving upside down. It also has a rather large hood ornament that doubles as an anti-theft device. The main secret to this vehicle is the use of flying spirals to create downforce, which are more compact than the other airfoils. I used BSG editing to set their thrust to negative values, which let me put them on top so they wouldn't get in the way as the machine articulates around corners. I also moved each flying spiral a quarter of a block length from the center so they wouldn't stick to the grabber. Another way I kept this machine as compact as possible is by mapping the wheel controls to give me forward, steering, and reverse without the need for steering parts. As I demonstrated in the sandbox, Block Widow can throw the, um, <clears throat> hood ornament. But just for the challenge, I'm beating all 15 levels of Ypsilon by driving only. That is, I don't fly, launch the bomb, or use any other weapons. When I use the bomb, I drive it to where it needs to be. I seem to have the best luck with these archers if I time my moves such that I can change direction when they shoot their arrows. For a more surefire victory, I could simply back out of the archers' range and run over the harmless knights until victory, but what would be the fun in that? If you run behind this rock ledge and let the standing stone shoot once, it won't shoot anymore after that. I'm not sure if it's a glitch or intentional, but it reminds me of the hiding spots in some of the Twisted Metal games, from which you could take pot shots at the computer opponents. For some reason, these archers are a lot harder to charge than the ones in the Queen's Fodder. While I could usually run over many or all of the Queen's Fodder archers without being shot, these archers always detonate my bomb before I can get near them. So I need to quickly put down the bomb at the beginning of the level, and even then, the archers often take out one of my flying spirals or wheels. But with the right strategy and maybe a little luck, this level is beatable. When you're off-roading, does it count as cheating to take the stairs? Ah, well. These archers aren't too bad as long as you turn right in the beginning. These archers are hard to avoid, so it's best to set down the bomb before going. Pizza delivery, I've got a large traditional crust with extra bombs. Careful, it's hot. That's it for the Ypsilon zones, but I'll go ahead and tackle a couple of the new zones as well, just for fun.
Because of how the controls are mapped, the vehicle loses less speed while turning if I go in reverse, which is crucial to beating this level. So that's it for my demo. I hope you enjoyed the video and the download link is in the description if you want to take Black Widow for a spin yourself. Until next time.